Warner Brothers wants us to put on a happy face. This Joker teaser poster is supposed to make us so happy. We're supposed to go like this. Like, you know, the Joker makes you do when he squirts you with that flower, that acid or whatever. Oh, sometimes it's acid and other times it's that chemical that messes with your brain and makes you smile and while you're being homicidal. But, you know, I'm kind of running with that, aren't I? But yes, this does make me put on a happy face. It looks very, like, deep and dark. And there have already been, like, teasers. They've already said that this is going to be, like, a character study about someone devolving into the Joker. And, you know, the character Arthur Fleck is already supposed to be someone who's suffering with mental illness. So I think it's going to be a combination of, you know, some life tragedies, you know, hitting this one dude who also has a mental illness. And, you know, the combination of stuff happening to him and his already, you know, weakened mental state or, you know, troubled mind turns him into the Joker or this Elseworlds version of the Joker. Um, I think this is supposed to be a one-off, you know, in like a side separate universe from the DCU. I mean, it is it is a separate universe from the DCU. But my, I wonder, you know, if this is, if Joaquin Phoenix's Joker is so popular, it would be weird for them never to revisit him, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if they maybe try to find a way to put him into the main DCEU. But, you know, maybe they won't. Maybe they'll just have this be a really, you know, prestige format. Because I think it's totally going to be, this is the serious, this is a return. This is going to be one of the serious, dark DC movies. Um, in this pose, it looks like he is giving a performance. Like he's going like this, you know, like, like, you know, you see people do that in the stage or whatever. They do like this pose where they throw their arm up in the air and, you know, all dramatically. Sometimes funnily, like, you know, he's like a clown putting on a performance or a stage actor, you know, putting on a happy face. And that, you know, that juxtaposed against the fact that this is going to be a really dark, probably disturbing story is going to make that, that this image is dramatically powerful because everybody knows this movie is not going to be a comedy or lighthearted movie. So, you know, putting on a happy face when, you know, there's bad stuff happening, you know, they're going to be like really mining the drama. It's almost like the Black Swan, right? If you saw the Black Swan. At the end, Natalie Portman did her, you know, her dance, you know, her Black Swan dance at the end. But, you know, after she had just killed people or hallucinated about killing people and then she, like, stabbed herself. You know, it was darkness mixed with, you know, a beautiful, elegant performance. And that's what I think of. That's the same kind of thing I'm thinking of watching, looking at this poster. You know, a, a very beautiful or happy or upbeat performance by someone who is going through some dark stuff and is probably gonna be doing some evil stuff in this movie. You know, he's got his clown makeup on and you know, you can see like there's smear on his face and because it's red, it could either be clown makeup or maybe it's somebody's blood. It could be his, but it's probably the blood of a victim. You know, like on his chin and on the side of his face, his nose, you know, he's been bashing people in. Maybe his performance will be, you know, it's like death performance art. The Joker is the kind of person who would kill people in theatrical showy ways. Maybe they'll have him do that in the movie. But um, yeah, I think this is a good poster. I mean, in the sense that it, I think it's definitely accurate to tease you about what this movie is going to be like and what they're going for with it. And Joaquin Phoenix is such like a respected and talented actor. He's probably going to be able to deliver exactly what they want from him in this movie. And I think it's good that DC is, even though DC has recently pivoted a lot more towards, you know, lighter, happier movies, that they are not completely abandoning dark movies, too. You know, I think it's good that the DC movie universe can be diverse in storytelling. I think it's great that they can do light movies and dark movies and things in between. And I hope they don't abandon that. You know, I hope they mix it up and just do good movies that can be, you know, very bright and good movies that can be very dark and just have the best movie, have the tone fit the character in question, basically, is what they should do. And I think they are doing that, at least with this and with Shazam, and with Aquaman, you know? They pick tones appropriate for the character, and great stuff. And this poster, good stuff. I like the green. Um, I'm a sucker for, like, see, like, green and blue and gray kind of colors, though. But I like it. It's deep. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel, because I appreciate your viewership, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.